So once you're ready to start designing your project within a programming language like Scratch, we're going to start to first design our sprites. Now sprites are the name given to your characters that you've developed and this area down here is where all the sprites will be. Your scenes or your backdrops will be in the stage area just to the right of that. Now just before we start designing our sprites, I'm going to have a look at costumes tab which is in the top left corner here and that will allow me to go in and edit or create um, some new costumes for that particular sprite. Before we start doing that, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the difference between vector and bitmap. Now those are two different styles of creating or editing sprites within Scratch's uh, editor. As you can see, we've got some tools down the left hand side here. And we are in vector mode. Uh, I know that because it says convert to bitmap at the bottom. As soon as we go into bitmap mode, use mode, you'll see it says convert to vector at the bottom. Okay, so the difference between vector and bitmap. If you imagine vector being a bit like a collage, so you've cut pieces of paper out to form a picture and you haven't stuck them down, so you can still move them about. So if I click on the cat here, I can move different parts of the cat around like this. This is vector, okay, vector art. Um, and I can rearrange them, I can even resize them, I can even uh, rotate them as well. Um, there we go. Um, and all the while, it will still allow me to do that throughout the whole um, game. So even if I move my sprite around in the window up here, I can still go back to my editor and move different parts of it around. So that's vector art, a bit like a collage, okay? You can also change color by using the fill tool of different bits and different areas, just like this. Okay, we're gonna now have a look at what it is in bitmap mode. So I'm gonna change the costume to costume two. And you can see I'm still in vector mode here, but if I convert to bitmap, this is now more like a drawing or a painting I've done. I can't actually separate the bits off. I can use a select tool, but you'll see if I try and move something, it will. it's like I've cut it with scissors and I've just moved it to over there. Um, you can rub out uh, in this tool, you can rub straight through, um, just like you can in the uh, vector one. Um, but it's a little bit more different, it's a little bit different to, to using vector. It's a bit like you've painted it already and you can't actually change it. For example, if I wanted to write some text here, uh, within my sprite. Once I've written that text, I get one chance to move it around uh, or to rotate it. But once I have clicked off that, I can't go back into it and change it again in bitmap mode. Okay, I can move it if I cleverly draw a box around it. But let's say, for example, it was over my sprite like this. If I drew a box around it, it would take half of my sprite with it. Okay, so bitmap mode is a bit like your painting or a drawn picture on a piece of paper. You can edit it, but it's limited. So this is probably uh, quite good for sort of drawing cartoons and things like that. Um, <clears throat> let's go back to vector mode then. So in vector mode, if you type some text uh, and you can move that around using the arrow tool, and you can still, once you've clicked off it, you can still move it around. It's still like a collage separate to all the other things. You can also go back in if you've made a spelling mistake and correct it or change it. Okay, so anytime you can do that. So that's the, the benefits of vector mode. Um, there's a couple of other things as well. You can use the rubber in vector mode. Um, you can then, it will then uh, still... <laughs> create, um, even though you've sort of rubbed half of it out, you can still move the whole thing that you drew. Um, now I'm just gonna do a little bit on fill. Now in vector mode, sometimes people get quite frustrated with the fill tool, the bucket tool. I'm gonna show you a couple of mistakes people make. So if I use the, the paintbrush and I've chosen a color and I do um, a whole shape 
um, like this, I can then use the fill tool to fill it in, no problem. However, if I then use a different color and add to that shape, so I'm drawing ears on an elephant here, I can't fill that area there. In bitmap mode, I could because it's totally encased or encircled by colors, but in vector mode, I can't fill that in until I've closed the shape with the same color. So if I go back to my paintbrush, you'll notice if I try and close the shape with a different color, well, it's closed with purple at the moment, but if I use the paintbrush again to try and close it uh, with some green and then try and fill it, it's still not gonna fill in. What I need to do is make sure I've used the same color um, to close that shape. And as soon as I've done that, so there's, there's a completely, um, encircled bit there, I will be able to then fill that area there. So please be aware of that. You can't fill an area in vector unless it's completely encircled by the same color pen or paintbrush. And the last thing to remember is if you've been working in vector and you convert your image or your sprite or your costume to bitmap, once you've done that, if you try and convert back to vector again, it will then turn all of this into one single piece. So you cannot convert it to bitmap and then convert it back to vector and expect to still move all these individual pieces around. Once you've converted it to bitmap, that's it. It's turned the whole lot into one big group and you cannot ungroup it using the ungroup tool. Okay, so be very careful hitting that bitmap button um, because it will take it will take all of your separate pieces and glue them all together um, like a picture uh, on a on a piece of paper. Okay, so that's a little bit of tutorial on bitmap and vector. Personally, I like to create things in vector um, because that allows you to then go back and edit it if you wish. Or if you're doing an animated um, character, you can move certain bits of it around and make it look like it's walking or throwing something or moving around as the sprite is in the game area. Okay, hope that helps uh, vector versus bitmap. One thing you must remember is that when you have clicked on a sprite down here, as you can see, I've got sprite number one, any code that you put inside that sprite um, is specific to that sprite and if you delete this sprite if you think oh I'd actually I don't want a cat I want a turtle and you trash that sprite all your code will go with it so even if you put another sprite back in um, let's say we chose exactly the same one again or if we wanted a different one let's say we wanted a bear instead of a cat your code is not there anymore because your code is inside that sprite. So if you delete the sprite, you delete the code. If you decide you didn't, if you've done all your coding and you decide that you don't want that sprite, you want a different sprite, then this is what you need to do. You need to make sure that you don't delete the sprite here, but instead you go to costumes and down here you can upload or insert a new costume or choose one from the scratch library. So if I wanted to put that back to a cat, for example, I could go down to my cat, which I believe is this one here. Here it comes. There we go. And then I can go and delete from the costumes, the ones that I don't want. And it's back to being a cat again, but I still have my code. So I'm not deleting the sprite down here because it will delete all my code. I'm changing the costume of the sprite in the costume tab. Now that you've seen the difference between vector and bitmap, why don't you spend some time exploring these features? Why don't you go into Scratch, look at the different costumes and see if you can create some wild and wonderful things? Maybe you could start thinking about what your character or your obstacles will look like from your maze game.